Hello, hello! Peace Pax here, and we're back with Throwback Thursday, episode number 10. So we're doing the 10th anniversary core game, or 8th edition. So there are two versions of this that I have. So you've got the later release that has the Magic Online CD, and then you've got the early release, which is not. You can see the Isbins are different ever so slightly. Let's see if I get that to clarify detail a little bit. There we go. Besides, also the older one is slightly thinner. And like, I don't know, maybe two, three millimeters taller. Let's see. That's a little more than two millimeters. It's four and a half millimeters taller. Okay. Back is also a little different. So there was a redesign. This is the version with the CD. This is the version without. Mostly the same kind of stuff on it though. All right. So let's open these up. Start with the one with the CD. This is the one where, this is one if you were in North America, you probably saw in like big box retail stores. Um, this is the one I remember seeing in like Walmarts and Targets and Hungates. I'm trying to think of some of the other places that were open at the time. And then these were the ones I would see in LGSs. So, uh, let's see. At the time, I was playing at Paradise Games in Winston Salem, North Carolina. Seems like forever ago now. <laughs> And this wants to be very difficult today. I'm going to accidentally cut the box because I want to keep the box. There we go. Oh, there's a quick release tab on the bottom. Oh, well. so this one also has the open. I don't know if they still have this, but you used to have like these little virtual tables in MDGO. Along with the chat rooms. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really... I haven't had much of a chance to play MTGO much lately, or Arena for that matter, but especially not MTGO, um, or Moto, as some people call it. That's everything in the box. Huh. Apparently they uh, had a collaboration with Ride Snowboards at one time. I'm not sure why I don't remember that. It seems like one of those weird things that you'd remember, but you not. Okay, got everything in here. It is still sealed. Now, 8th edition was the um, Magic 10th anniversary. It did come out in 2003. And it was also the advent of the modern card frame. Which we've now had longer than we haven't. Well, I say now. We've we've had it longer than we haven't for a decade now. Have uh, nice foil elvish champion. This was the only way to get foil eighth edition card or not foil. Black border eighth edition cards was foils. That's why some of the foils are worth significantly more than the normal version. Also, the rates for foils were very low. 
as are the others. We've got the gold deck and the silver deck. I think we still had the same kind of layout in ninth edition. Got the little marker for them. And then there is a CD with the core game online. This one's just in a slip case. And it's too scuffed up over the years. It does have like a little bit of schmoo on it. Oh, this is like actual paint. Huh. Okay. Uh, once I find my external CD-ROM drive, I'll do a video of all the discs from the ones that came with discs. That'll be cool. All right. So we have the little layout and ads. This is the one for the silver player. We're showing the core game theme deck booster packs. Tracker. Have the same thing for the gold player. This one, of course, showing the 8th edition branding on it. Very nice. I suspect this one isn't going to be too different from the 9th edition one. From what I recall, they were almost identical. We've got mostly the same comic. Let's see. Yes, they have the updated set symbols from 7th edition. We saw the same thing for 9th edition. So these were largely unchanged between 7th, 8th, and 9th edition. Except for like some of the advertisements. Good old Arena League. BCI. Promos. I miss that. This was a great time to play Magic. I mean, now is a great time to play Magic too, but it's different. This was a great time for competitive magic. Nice comic book. Walking us through. Oh, there's an actual manual for Magic Online in here. We can see what some of the old interface stuff looks like. Although it largely hasn't changed much. The rule book. This one does appear to be full color. Well, partial color. The jacket is full color. The mostly unchanged from current magic you different well it is nice that they explain a swiss pairing works and oh they explain drafting in here including rochester draft see this is this is a resource that new players need we should still be putting these in um into player starter sets because you know online tools fade away Explaining leagues and tournaments and Swiss pairings and how all that works. That's single elimination, actually, not Swiss pairings, but, you know, you get the idea. A nice glossary. Explain things. Oh, the old uh, LIFO shorthand, which isn't exactly right, but close enough. Phases. That. I don't think they show layers in here. But yeah. Pretty solid. Magic online manual. Ah, good old Goblin King art. That takes me back. 
What's not in this manual? This will not teach you how to play magic. Of course. Oh, minimum requirement. 64 megs of RAM. And a Pentium 2 333 megahertz processor. Wow, I forgot exactly how, how low you could run this on. Recommended Pentium 3 at 500 megahertz. 128 megabytes of RAM and 1 gig of free hard disk space. Man, you could run this off of Ra you could run Moto off of Raspberry Pi, no problem. If that existed at the time and it were built for the ARM architecture instead of the x86 architecture, but you know. Explains buying cards, go past Fism Art. Rexian Plague Lord. Oh man, that takes me back. The rooms and explaining it. This is all completely different. Lightwood armor. The OK cancel and help buttons. Oof. Fallen Angel art. Mog Sentry, I believe. This hasn't changed that much. It's it's a little different from uh, from then, but hasn't changed a whole ton. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> this is completely different. Although I do kind of miss this layout. This was pretty great. Now having the floating icons can lead to some really uh, messed up things. Viewing the collection, that looks way different. Searches look different. And there's a bit that's changed. Lord of the Undead. Light, I think. Rock Egg. Trade Screen. Glory Anthem. Get the name of that. Nice. All right, now that I've sufficiently bored you with looking over the manuals, let's look at the actual cards. Starting off the gold player's deck. Is largely going to be the same as 7th and 8th edition. Be sure to check out those videos too. Also, we've got some older stuff like 4th edition and 5th edition. Alright, let's pull in for this. Focus, Norwood Ranger, art by Ron Spencer. Forrest, John Avon, Phil Giant, Danny Orizio, or Orizio, yeah, Orizio. Another John Avon Mountain. Classic John Matson Stone Rain. Greg Staples, Goblin Raider. John Avon Forest. Ben Thompson, Volcanic Hammer. Probably the second best Volcanic Hammer. The uh, Portal 2 one. I think it's Portal 2. The Thor Hammer one being the best. Rampant Growth from uh, Kyphon. Or Kiffin. Rob Alexander Mountain. I love Rob, Rob Alexander's art. Another Norwood Ranger. Enormous Ballot by Mark Tedden. Another Volcanic Hammer. John Avon Forest. John Avon Forest. Spined Worm by Kenneth Parkinson. John Avon Mountain. Dublin Raider again. Another Hill Giant. Lava Axe by Brandon Snowdy. One of the best flavor texts of all time. Catch. Another one. Another enormous ballot. 
Don't have on Mountain. Don't have on Forest. Don't have on Mountain. Rob Alexander Mountain. Ogre Taskmaster by Danny Arizio. Another great art. Just iconic art. John Avon Mountain. Grizzly Bears by DJ Cleland Hura. Forest by John Avon. Another Grizzly Bears. Mountain and Forest. Both by John Avon. I love that forest. It's a great one. Put them back in order. And try to get them back in the back. Apologies if I sound a little stuffed up today. Allergies are hitting me pretty hard. Also, on the uh, spouse front, their hopefully last surgery was today. And they're recovering, so it seemed like everything went well. And uh, yeah. They are on the mend. So we're excited about that. Hooray! All right. Now for the silver player's deck. Oh, also this beautiful elf. Elvish Champion by Mark Zug. Great one. I tend to leave them in the plastic. I've got a few of them from over the years. All right, we have Giant Octopus, Heather Hudson. Redfield's Plains, Glory Seeker by Dave Dorman. Fugitive Wizard, Jim Nelson. Tony uh, Sacuzo. Sucudlio, or Sucudlo. Tony, I'm sorry. I know I'm butchering your last name. But, uh, yeah, Tony. Tony did this. Tony did a great job. I did a bad job of saying his name. Sorry, Tony. A uh, Plains by John Avon. Coral Eel by Una Fricker. Island, John Avon. Vengeance. Hello, Parente. Island, John Avon. Index, Kev Walker. Classic Kev Walker. Plains, Matthew Mitchell. Glory Seeker, Dave Dorman. Plains, John Avon. The couple running. Giant Octopus, again. Island, Scott Bailey. Glory Seeker, again. Coral Eel, again. Plains, Spreadfields. Island by Tony, Sacred Nectar, Janine Johnson, very nice, love the art for that, Another Vengeance by Fellow Parente, Visadrix by Dave Dorman, just classic art from this era, it was a good era, another Glory Seeker, another Visadrix, another Sacred Nectar, Plains, John Avon. Another Giant Octopus by Heather Hudson. Island by John Avon. Plains, Matthew Mitchell. Island, John Avon. Eager Cadet by Greg and Tim Hildebrandt, who also did a significant amount of art for the Lord of the Rings set. And John Avon Plains. Very nice. Reverse this, or rather set it back to what it should be. I have noticed a few more people going back and playing with White Border Basics since the uh, Mystery Booster 2 release. White Border is making a comeback, which is just absurd to me. Like... <laughs> I remember the white border things being the cheapest and everyone hating them. And black border was king. Now, apparently, it is trendy to play with white border stuff, which is just so absurd. 
you know, friends change. And I feel old. <laughs> All right. Next, we have the advanced booster pack. And then we'll see what's in the uh, earlier version. I think the cards are entirely the same between the two versions. So... Let's see. That is crispy. But we got it open more or less in time. All right, let's see. We've got Holy Day with art by Pete Ventures. Sanctimony, Patrick Horror, Farsi, Farsi, another John Avon Plains, Honor Guard by Mark Zug, Sea Eagle by Anthony S. Waters, beautiful art on that, Rod of Ruin, David Martin, another John Avon Island, Explanation, for the advanced booster. Which yeah. Each player gets an instant, each player gets a creature with flying. The player gets a card with two colored mana symbols on it. Ooh. Silverback ape. Okay. Each player gets at least one card with an activated ability. Each player gets an artifact. Each player gets an enchantment. Nice. Slowly ramping up the complexity, which is good. All right, now we have a John Avon Forest, Pentakia Golem by Kev Walker, beautiful art on that. Silverback Ape by Ron Spears, Naturalize by Tim Hildebrandt, just absolutely iconic art. Mountain by John Avon, Goblin Glider, Petra Kvarsi, and Blanchwood Armor by Paolo Parente. Absolutely iconic cards. So we'll go ahead and reverse them so we can get another good look at everything. And then we'll open the other one. That covers everything. Oh, Sanctimony. I Did I say Sanctimony? Sanctimony by Patrick Farsi. Still actually not a bad card. Funny enough, available in uh, in Modern. You can play Sanctimony in Modern. Although I don't know how far it'll get you. Very nice. The extra books. Those... For a game, carefully slide everything back in the box. Slowly and carefully put the packs back in. side by side very nice that sideways on top and then we did it nice everything's back in the box all right now we'll pull back to see the earlier version aha there is a really quick release on here We 
we've had the modern frame roughly twice as long as we had the the pre-modern frames. Since this was introduced at the 10th anniversary. Let's see. So basically the same. Still got your advanced pack. Those two only have three books. They look to be exactly the same. I'm not opening this up, but we do still get the prim the premium card. There were a few versions of this that didn't have the foil. So very cool. Yeah, so it's just the same thing, but minus the magic online stuff. Nice. All right. Well, thank you for joining me on this adventure. And this, you know, throwback to 2003 with the 10th anniversary of Magic and the 8th edition core game sets. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, really appreciate it. It helps out with growing the channel. And uh, yeah, until next time, stay awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.